The German Empire was formed in 1871 after the unification of German states and is administered by Kaiser Wilhelm II, an ambitious leader with an extreme interest in naval warfare. The Kaiser is eager to build a fleet strong enough to threaten the naval supremacy of the British Empire and expand the German colonies around the world. The rapid industrial and population growth of the German homeland pushes naturally to an aggressive policy which concerns other powers. In combination with the Kaiser's monarchic rulership, it makes diplomatic relations difficult, except maybe with Austria-Hungary or Italy, which appear to share similar motives. But anyways, hello everyone, Bruce Lee here with another campaign, and we're going back to our roots. Not exactly a German 1890 campaign, which I believe the first campaign I ever did on this channel, but 1900, close enough. Why 1900? Well, I was going to do 1890, and I was also going to design or auto-design a whole bunch of ships so that the game wouldn't have to load the campaign for 17 years, but then I realized I can't go before 1890, and the builder will always build ships from four years beforehand, tech-wise, so 1900 it is. I have a whole bunch of auto-design ships for, I guess, 1896, which is when the game will take it from, except for Britain, France, and Germany. Obviously, I will be creating my own, so the AI will be designing the French and British ships because those will be the two powers that I will be going to war with. Those that will be my goal will be to get into World War II, or World War I, sorry, and successfully overthrow British naval supremacy. So, we are 1900, normal difficulty, AI opponent is historical, create on fleet, and AI shared designs are on. I could turn up the difficulty to like legendary. That would just lead to a whole lot more ships. You know what? The German Legendary Campaign. Here we go. Alright, so the game has finally loaded. It was not as quick as I hoped it would be. Uh, I guess let's go check out what, what everybody has. The British have 8 battleships, 10 heavy cruisers, 17 light cruisers, 25 destroyers, and 23 torpedo boats, while the French only have 5 battleships, 15 heavy cruisers, 30 CLs, and 36 torpedo boats. So they don't have any destroyers, but they still have a very respectable navy. Uh, heavy cruisers in this time period are practically just capital ships, but a little cheaper. So very interesting. I guess they're friends with everybody, which I'm guessing makes Austria-Hungary my ally of sorts, yeah. They have probably the most capital ships, but next to no screening ships, which is not great for them, but it's not horrible. So let's go, go build our ships, which we don't have yet, so let's can we build some moons? No. Let's get working on our battleships. Now, unfortunately, we don't get any semi-dreadnoughts or anything like that, which is unfortunate because a lot of other nations, when I was auto-designing, do get ships, uh, ship holes like that. We have all of the basic ones, which is not super fantastic, but it's okay. Think about going with this hull. Doesn't look too bad. Let me check out the stats. 18.8 knots, 18.5 knots, and 18.4 knots. So this is the fastest ship, which is good. I like speed. Speed is king in this time period, especially maneuverability. 65 resistance, 47, and 43. So this is definitely the best, the best one to have. I'm gonna go get some funnels. I'm assuming we're gonna be a little four heavy, yeah. Don't have any barbettes. We have Mark II, Mark II, Mark II, Mark II. We have Mark II's everything. Can't fit any Mark II 13s. I don't suppose this comes back any bit, no. Let's see, maybe Mark II 11s will fit right here? No. Mark II 10s? Mark II 10s. Our battleships will be toting 10 inch guns, I guess. Um, that's not a great forward offset, obviously. We'll also do standard crew quarters, maximum bulkheads, range. We don't need a lot of it, but it might give me favorable uh, encounters. We could go maximum displacement, which gives me space for another funnel, which is better for my engine efficiency since I don't think I can really increase it at all. Yeah, I can increase it a little bit. Unbalanced rudder, because torpedoes are... A battleship's worst enemy in this time period. So let's get some secondary guns that can deal with that. Most likely secondary guns will be dealing with destroyers, torpedo boats, and potentially some light cruisers. So fours or three inch guns. We'll do fours for now. With some four inch guns with some 
three inches as well. Mm, that's only in the front two inches. Nah, we'll just stick with the force. We do have a couple of spots for some secondary guns here as well, which is kind of cool. I don't think we can really stick them anywhere. I guess I can just put this right here. What would go right here? Potentially three? Maybe a three single. Maybe what about a four single? Nope. Alright, we'll just put a three single and then just plop that a couple of other places. There we go. Forward offset is really not good. Also, can I have a bigger six inch or like casemate somewhere? No. Grab some underwater torpedoes, those are always super helpful. Double hull bottom and anti torp tube will save my life more than once, I can guarantee it. Best armor quality. Uh, just, just get all of the armor stuff and everything. Let's grab standard soft uh, base views actually. And then let's see. So 80% to say 55. I'll just uh, overcompensate a little bit. So I like using this a bit. So we're gonna do say we'll do 80. Hopefully no one chooses Harvey because otherwise I'll be overpunning. So any light cruiser. We'll get... Eh, will they get pens with HE? No, but the destroyers will. Well, they should get penetrated. Uh, don't mind that eulogy. Let's see, is ballast type better? I don't think it is because they get less accuracy. Maybe now I will pen. Do I get more penetration with ballastite? Yes, I do. So that's uh, kind of useful, I guess. Do I lose range with this? No, I gain range. Okay, we're gonna go with that then. We're gonna do... whoop, tabbed out. We're gonna go light shells, increased AP, and increased HE. Repeat of size, 18 inch, fast, reduced. Best reload and... turn. Grab some coincidence. Range finders. We have a lot of forward offset, which is not great, so I'm going to drag this out a little bit just to hopefully compensate for that a little bit. We'll delete this front funnel and then induce, so we'll still have enough engine efficiency. We can also then uh, reduce these funnels to the smallest kinds. Not quite the smallest kinds. This is definitely not going to win any beauty pageants, but that's fine. It would be a little sad that I won't, but oh well, what are you going to do about it? Okay, not horrible. Let's see our armor. Eight inches is not amazing at all. We are going to reduce the length of our 10 inch guns to probably 35 calibers. In the low end, maybe negative 6%. We have a reload of 48 seconds. Obviously it's not amazing, a little under 12 kilometers of range, but we will be able to shoot hopefully decently fast. The four inchers are, let's see, 33s might be a bit fast. Let's tag these down to, what do I want to take them down to? Maybe negative 12. How long of a range do you have? About 7 kilometers worth of range, so within 5 kilometers we'll open up. Which is good because torpedoes only have a range of 1 kilometer, or if they are standard, 1.5 kilometers. So that's fine, I'm fine with these being short barrel only having about 7 kilometers worth of range, though only being able to hit things within about probably 1.5 kilometer range. So we'll shoot fast enough, hopefully we'll kill the other ship. What am I reducing now? The 3 inch gun? 3 inch guns can be 11.7 seconds of reload. These are 8.8, .8, so technically these have shorter range but longer reload. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Probably should turn this down a bit. Let's also take down the. Oh, wait, no, I was looking at the casemates. I should have been looking at these. It still were. Okay, well, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna reduce this to 30 kilometers of range for the these yes that's what it was now that's only five kilometers of range 
These have about five kilometers of range. These have about five kilometers of range. Okay. Probably should reduce that some more. I think negative 18 gives me 3.4 kilometers of range, but 3.6 or 3.6 second reload, which is really good. Can't stick them anywhere else, unfortunate. Can I put a gun up here if there's on a funnel? No? Okay, that's fun. Uh, let's grab some armor. We have 10 inch guns, so let's just go for 10. 10 works, 10, 5, 5. 10, 5, 5. We're gonna just grab a 3 and then a 1.5, 1.5. There we go. 1.5 superstructure, probably up that later. 5, 1.5. Well, I would like to up it. Let's make these 12, 12 because I'm sure our uh, flash fire chance is, yeah, 17.2%. I do not want to get hit by that or get penned at all. That would absolutely suck. So let's not get uh, destroyed by that. And then let's grab some armor for our guns. Our turrets don't need that much armor, do they? I don't know if I have that many turrets that I really care if they get and necessarily. Yeah. We'll keep it like this for now. We are a bit over in displacement, which is not fun potentially. If I increase beam a little bit, uh, we lose a bit of displacement. Let's um, let's also I think up this funnel a little bit. Get more engine efficiency. So I do want to do at least 19 knots. Actually, I'd like to do 20 knots. Can I do 20 knots? I can do 20 knots, so I will do 20 knots. There we go. 20 whole knots. Oops, that's the gun. Let's drag this a little back so it looks decent. I actually liked it where it was before. There we go. Uh, I don't suppose this being out here is going to affect anything at all. It'll probably affects weight a little bit. Now that we have 20 knots of speed, we could reduce range a little bit. Uh, I mean, that's probably more than enough range, around 15 kilometers, I believe it is. Armor is okay, not great, but it's okay. You can reduce four belt a tiny bit. You can also make this like 5.5 .5 and then like 4.5. You kind of deal with that. Make this two, make this one. There we go. And then there we go, a nearly perfectly balanced ship. We just up the superstructure a tiny bit. And not much else to do now. I suppose we could add a little bit more. Just a little bit more armor somewhere. Yeah, alright. That's fine. This is the Posen. A perfectly almost perfectly balanced ship with four 10-inch guns, 35 caliber, range of I mean a surprising a surprising just I kinda wanna take these down even further, actually. Like negative six is not enough. I brought these down to say like a uh made them like a 30 caliber. They fire every 36 seconds, but now we only have an 8 kilometer ish range. Is that worth it? I think, what if I just do negative 10% for all of these things? I think negative 10 is, instead of trying to get an even caliber number, we just do negative 10. 43 second reload, 10 kilometer range, yeah, I'm a little better with that. We have a bit more weight, just dump it to the superstructure, because that's a pretty important part of this ship. I do want to keep alive. Um, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. So that works. A little bit more top armor, probably for the casemates, if anything. There we go. Okay. I pose them. Wait, can I get a little bit more superstructure? I just want to absolutely min max the heck out of this ship, just by probably never will you be using it. Maybe we will, though. You never know. That's the Posen. Let's move on to the Heavy Cruiser, which is, I believe, yeah, pretty much the same hull. And we only have this hull, so we have to use it. So basically the same exact ship of the one that we just used. 
right? I didn't max out this displacement, right? Yes, I did. 1700 tons. This one does 1100 tons. So this will basically just be a smaller, cheaper battleship. Which I am fine with. I don't know what I can fit with this main tower, though. I don't know many guns that will be able to fit on that. Let's see, any Mark threes? I think we'll be able to fit a 9, which is what I wanted, so we're going to fit an 8, I believe. Yeah, it would have to be an 8. Whoops, deleted that by accident. I wish I could fit a 9 on that, but an 8 will have to do. And then, let's see. Uh, let's grab funnels. Probably just the biggest ones we can get. 200%, that's a little bit much. We're only doing 15.9, and I would like to do... This thing can do 21. You know what? Yeah, let's do 21. Go a little bit faster than our battleship counterpart. Actually, can I do 22? Can I do 23? And maybe like 21.5. Compared to 21. It's a bit of a jump. Let's maybe lose a tiny bit of beam. And can I do like a 22 without going super... Nah. Alright, we're just going to keep this normal then. Well, actually... We have more displacement if we have negative. Perfect. Let's do 22 knots. We'll do 2 knots faster than the battleship. We don't have the displacement, or not displacement, the uh, engine efficiency anymore. If we induce with this, we do have it. So reduce funnels until we have exactly 100%. Let's grab a big funnel and then a very big funnel. There we go. And we're pretty perfectly balanced right now, but I do remember that the secondary guns will screw that up. Let's grab some 3-inch guns. They don't fit anywhere. Some single 3-inch guns. Casemates of... I would like 4s, but maybe 3s is the plan. Because, well, we are supposed to go against other light cruisers as well, so let's grab some 4s and see what it does. Okay, doesn't make me too for heavy, so I can delete this, just make another single three. Helps a little bit with displacement as well. Uh, definitely standard quarters, unbalanced rudder, let's see, hydraulic steering. Did I change that with my battleship? I don't know, and I really hope I did. All the torpedo protection, because they will absolutely save my life at some point. Well, the ship's life, I should say. Standard base fuse is more than enough. Increased, increased. And let's go gun cotton, ballastite. Pretty much the same setup as the battleship. And this, these buttons are not clicking today. Armor is way worse than the battleship so far. Let's also stick a couple torpedoes on here before I forget. Torpedoes are very useful. Always very useful. We'll just reduce the amount. Well, we can keep it standard for now. So we got some threes and some fours in terms of secondaries. That's pretty good. Probably should have some twos as well. I fit twos anywhere. Yes, I can. And so I will. Can I fit these twos anywhere? No. Can I fit two casemates anywhere? No. Well, I, now we have a couple more secondary guns, which are good. How much armor can I have? 6.9. Nice. I don't think I quite need this much armor. So let's go down to just six for now. I, well, I would have liked eight, but I guess we're not getting that because we don't have the resistance required to get that. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, if we have any more displacement, we can throw it into speed and get a little faster. In the meanwhile, let's reduce the length of these eight inch guns to just negative 10 as well. I think I might just make... Oopsie daisy. I might make all of my guns negative 10. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, what is happening? There we go. Now my guns shoot in about 30 seconds. Although they have a range of yeah, a little under 9 kilometers. These shoot in 6.8 seconds, 5 kilometer range, a little under 5 kilometer range. And about a 2 3 ish kilometer range, but they're 2 inch guns. What do you expect? I guess I could bring them up a little bit, but I'm not going to. 
Okay, let's get this armor a little better. I would like it a lot better. I just assume this is like a 7, so like a 3.5, 3.5, 1.5, well, get a 2, 1, 1, and then get a, we'll just put 2 on here for now. Max this out, 9, that works just fine for me. We got a little 4 heavy, which is not fantastic. Turret armor, not a great amount of it. Let's, I guess, just throw a little bit more armor on these. Just six here. We could also just do six, uh, three, three, which is not great, I know, but I, we can do it for sure. And then let's see, the one, just make this a one. And a little bit extra displacement we can put into speed, because speed is very nice around here. We can upgrade, that's a two inch gun. We can upgrade this funnel to a better funnel, which doesn't really fix the problem. That should fix the problem. Doesn't fix the problem. Interesting. That should fix the problem. That does fix the problem. Now we do have a bit of four weights, uh, which is not great. So we're gonna get a little bit more aft belts, about an inch, and then a bit more deck, I think. Like a bit more, or a bit less forward offset, but this might have to be fine. This might work right there. A little bit of four weight, so now it's perfectly balanced. So our pigeon roll is not great. We are about seven tons over. We probably don't need all this inner deck. There we go. Almost perfectly balanced. Our speed is at 23 knots. It's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. The Prince Al or wait, Aldebert. Yeah, the Prince Aldebert. Not a bad little, not a bad little ship. Check a look at our light cruisers. I think the purpose of these is to just be a. Ah, uh, should I make? I don't really know what to make these. Because I try to make them anti-destroyer slash anti-torpedo boats, but I mean, usually the secondaries on the CAs and BBs are good enough for that. Let's just work on the torpedo boats first. You're that long. You're that long. Usually what I try to do for these is I... Give them um, all the range, no bulkheads, no crew quarters, minimum beam and draft, and then best engines. I don't need mine sweeping. Eh, we might need induced. Give them the smallest main tower. Give them the smallest funnel. Give them the tiniest of guns, which usually uh, revolves around just taking a two inch gun and making it the smallest possible. I guess I could put some more here, but I don't really care about that, so that takes some displacement, I'll get rid of it. Now grab torpedo launchers. And you guessed it, I absolutely spam a ton of them all over the ship. I would like them to turn though. There we go. So then that way they can respond to any threat that I wish to torpedo at any point in time. Perfect. So just throw these down here, delete this instead. And let's put that up there, delete these. We are overweight, which is not great, so we're going to reduce. 18 inch, fast torpedoes, don't care about any of the gun stuff. Which one of these reduces that does? What else reduces? This reduces shell size, or weight displacement. Engine efficiency is surprisingly not bad for only one funnel. Range is not great, obviously, but that's fine. And then 22 knots is way too slow. So this ship can do normally 29. I'm going to have it do 29, not 9, 29. Oh, that's a really bad engine efficiency. There we go, that's better engine efficiency. 30? 31? 32, 33, 
Where's the big jump? There it is. 32.5? 32.5. There's the big jump. So we need better engine efficiency, so we're gonna get some better engine efficiency. There we go. Then we're going to... what are we gonna do? Not entirely sure. Oh wait, no, we have enough displacement, we're fine. Can we put two of these on the side? Yeah, I cannot. So what I might do... Just... wait, no, that's perfectly fine. Wait, no, that's not. I don't know... oh, it's because you're 18 inch now? Is that why? Yeah, there we go. We only get eight torpedoes, technically, per ship. But it's a relatively cheap ship. That's not bad. Very speedy. Whole point is just run up to the battleships and blow them up with torpedoes. That's it. That's their whole purpose in life. Very simple. Not supposed to fill out the displacement. S1 is a very good name for these ships. Now let's work on our destroyers. So I still don't know what to do with the uh, light cruisers. Okay, destroyers. These are going to be maximum size. We can only do 850. That's fine. 850. They do a grand total of 33.8 knots. That is also nice. A good range, good quarters. These are supposed to survive with unbalanced rudders, Beth engine. We'll come back to that. And get all the stuff that keeps it alive. The point of this ship is to not be a suicide torpedo bomber and be more of a all-rounder. Why are we already almost totally overweight? Okay, there we go. We grab the best main tower because spotting matters. The best rear tower. A funnel, which does give us nowhere near enough engine efficiency. Okay, it's better. We grab a second funnel. There we go. Now we have some funnels. We are good on engine efficiency. We are again almost nearly overweight. Three inch guns should be fine for this time. Do I have barbettes? I do have barbettes. Oh my goodness, those are way too big though. Are you smaller? No. Some three inch guns there. What I might do though is I might just make a side by side three inch gun. There we go. That's probably going to work out a little better, anyways. Put a couple three inch guns back here that'll be side by side. And then a sing. Can I do this potentially? No. Some torpedoes on the back. Almost perfectly balanced ship. Torpedoes will. Let's reduce the torpedoes, fast torpedoes, all the turning, yeah, probably all the turning, light shells, standard, no, semi shells actually, with ballastite and gun cotton, with some coincidence range finding, probably, yeah, we'll keep some mines. I don't know if I need full mines, but we'll keep all the mines. We are very over. Why are we so over? Engine boilers. Is that really? They're that heavy? Fine. 32 knots. 31 knots. There we go. 31 knots. That works just fine for me. Even 30 knots would work fine just for me. Maybe I'll do 30 knots. So I have rain or space for more. We can have some standard torpedoes and we are perfectly balanced, huh? That's nice. We can get some... Really kip semi... Phase few, or do I want to pen stuff? What is the point of these guns? Let's just say I go to negative 10, which is what I normally do. Probably to pen other destroyers and torpedo boats. Obviously, I have no armor, so I don't have to worry about them. Say 0.6 inches of armor is about the maximum we're going to get. We can pen. Well, we have way too much pen with uh, standard. With semi, we, yeah, I still have uh, pretty much all the pen we'll ever need. Soft capped is... yeah, we'll just we'll nose fuse with HE to get that HE damage. Increased, or uh, our standard ratio. So then we can pen destroyers and... yeah, pen destroyers and potentially some lightly armored light cruisers with the... 3 inch gun. I should probably get standards in that case. 
Is it really that much of a difference? Yeah, 0 0.8 and 0 0.7 compared to 1.5 and 1.3. Jeez. Well, that's uh, that's a big difference. Oh no, no more tooltip. Awesome. Let's see, four and four point two kilometers compared to four point four and four point two. Okay, it's not bad. I might go with the probably just stick with semi. Semi for now is okay. Then let's go and get some better armor. Why are we four? Have you now? Oh, did I have a lot of four or F belt or something? I'm entirely sure it's happening there. There we go, just max that out. Three inch guns, I'm fine with this. We are a perfectly balanced ship somehow. Uh, about four three inch guns. I wish I could throw some two inch guns somewhere, but I don't think I will be able to fit them anywhere. Besides right there, but that's kind of stupid. So whatever, we'll get rid of those. These are just uh, more all-rounders, not super helpful in combat, but the Minesweeper is going to be the biggest the biggest help. A little bit of extra main deck. And... Uh... What? Oh, I see. I'll just max out our displacement really quick. Before... Yeah, okay, that's the slots. There we go. Now we have a quite decent amount of armor. Quite a decent amount of armor. We're making 3.1s. That's nice. We're making 3.1 inch guns. Why? I, I don't know. About four and a half second reload for the three inch guns and two torpedoes on the back. Okay, the V1. Finally, light cruisers. What am I going to do with light cruisers? I don't know. We go down the semi-armored cruiser path, which is basically just uh, build a couple... What if I make screening ships for the battleships? Or is that the destroyer's job? It could be the destroyer's job, but it could be these jobs as well. I could make two... No, I never want to make more than one type of ship uh, for a ship class usually, because I'll just get confused. There's this one. So you're, I'm going to look at resistance in hull form. So 1730, 1639, 7227, and 2760. I might just make these... I might make them scout ships, but I have destroyers for that. So what I'll probably do with these is give them 20 knots of speed. It probably should be a little faster than the battleships. So 20.5 knots of speed. Some decent range. Give them, I guess, 6,500 tons. And then we will just build them to be a little bit of a brawler as well. So, best front tower, best secondary tower, grab some funnels. Which, wow, okay, surprisingly, they work pretty well. Grab a couple of smaller funnels. There we go, that looks a little better. Grab some main guns. Probably some fours, right? If we're just a screening ship. Oh, we also want to fight ourselves. Okay, what can we get in terms of armor? Four inches of armor. Again, 80%. But that doesn't really matter, though. You can pen. Where can you pen four inches of armor? Okay, slap you down. I give you standard. Just increase, increase. I'll make the standard, actually. Upgrade this, light shells, this is probably going to be the play. Negative 10% and everything. You will never pen 4 inches. Can the 7 inch gun even pen 4 inches? That is the question. It has to be very close. Okay, this, the 6 inch gun reloads in 20 seconds, the 7 reloads in 24. I do the six because can the six pen for something inches of armor? Yes, it can, and a little bit closer ranges, which is probably where it's going to be fighting. Now, if I reduce barrel length, penetration, that's okay. Okay, right, I think six inch guns is the play here. 
Because we can pen light cruisers. Other light cruisers, I should say. And then we can grab a couple four-inch guns. And then maybe some threes or twos somewhere. And now I've got a couple twos here, I guess. That's cool. So negative 10%, negative 10%. There we go. Grab some casemates, just some threes. Slap them around. And then maybe some twos. Nowhere to put the twos. Okay. Pretty big full rate offset. Not great. Let's also grab some torpedoes. Because I do want a decent amount of torpedoes. 18 inch fast, obviously. With some coincidence, and I don't really want mines for now. I'll come back to it if I have space for it, though. Let's grab all the protection that I will ever need. As well as the turning that I will definitely need. More than enough engine efficiency. I could delete one funnel. Yeah. There we go. Funnels look okay. We actually get 4.5 inches of armor now. We'll just do four though. Four, two, two, one, point five, point five, uh, one, and six. Next is out of two and point five. These can be eight, I guess just two point fives, and that's as high as it goes. What is the flash fire chance? Six point two, two point five, or actually can even be two actually. And then we'll just make it a one top armor. That should be fine right there. We are a little overweight against engine boilers, which is not what I was hoping for. If I reduce beam a bit, beam does help. Some drafts. Draft does not help. What about more drafts? What about a lot more drafts? No, not that much drafts. I just killed the drafts. But no beam. Mmm, that doesn't really help. It's time to go down to many bulkheads. Which is never a great thing. But that's okay. In this instance... Let's see, what is the penetration like on these again? It's okay. It's okay. Could get off of... Stand Actually, even standard torpedoes doesn't help me that much. Don't really want to reduce anything else here. Maybe just like seven inches or six inches here. That really does not reduce it by that much. It's really okay it's just a hull apparently. Engines is the second most thing. Um, I could reduce the two inch guns a little bit. That does not reduce the weight at all. Fun. Let's get rid of the 2 inch guns. I don't really need them. We could also reduce some armor. Do I have any more 2 inch guns left? Yes I do. Delete them. I don't need them. I have 3 inch guns. And then let's get rid of some 4 armor. I think uh... That's not quite enough. That's not really good, is it? Not really good. Uh, I guess let's keep going. Which I don't want to keep going. And we're almost there. A little bit less superstructure, and there we go. Got the little magical number. I think there was some inner deck. That, well, that works too. There we go. A little bit more barbed armor. Yeah, there we go. Reduce this? Yeah, there we go. Okay. The Buzzard. That is a funny name that I will probably not stop making fun of, but whatever. Forward offset's not great, but this is more just a deal with like cruisers and destroyers that come up to harass the battleships. Okay. That was fun. We have some ships designed. Let's make a little fleet now. Alright, I have spent all my money. So I have built, let's see, I have built one, yeah, six battleships, I have built six heavy cruisers, I have built 12 light cruisers, and I have built 
12 destroyers. These will be my main battle fleet, or at least they will be two if I can't fit them all in one, which is most likely going to be the uh, what's going to happen. And then I will be building some more torpedo boats and destroyers, probably a couple more light cruisers and heavy cruisers as well, but I think I'm going to battle ships now. Yeah, this will be the end of the episode. So thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you when the world is heating up.